What is an action potential? Have you ever experienced your muscle twitching? The cause of both voluntary and involuntary muscle movement is an electrical stimulus, the action potential. An action potential is a sequence of electrical changes that occur on a therefore excitable cell membrane. These result in an initial rapid increase followed by a decrease in the electrical charge across the membrane. Because this electrical charge can be rapidly and reversibly changed as well as transported over long distances across the cell membrane, such changes are ideal for intercellular communication. Action potentials are generated in neurons, skeletal muscle cells, and cardiac muscle cells, also known as cardiomyocytes. Their generation is based on a common physiological principle, which we'll discuss in the first episode in this Chalk Talk series. The next three episodes compare action potentials in different cell types. Let's start with looking at how an action potential is generated. The cell membrane separates the cell interior from the exterior environment, which have different soluble components. The intracellular fluid contains negatively charged proteins as well as positively charged potassium ions and protons. In contrast, Extracellular fluid contains positively charged sodium and calcium ions as well as negatively charged chloride ions. Through the uneven distribution of ions inside and outside the cell, an electrical net charge, called an electrical potential, is formed across the cell membrane. Although it's sometimes referred to as the transmembrane potential, it's more commonly known as the membrane potential. The membrane potential of a cell in the default state is termed the resting potential. In this state, the intracellular net charge is more negative than the net charge outside the cell. The membrane potential calculated from these charges is negative. Let's translate this into a formula. The membrane potential is the difference between the intracellular and extracellular potential. The magnitude of the potential difference on the membrane isn't reflected by the sign, but by the absolute value. If charged substances are transported across the membrane, changing the net charge on both sides, the membrane potential also changes accordingly. The type of ions involved in producing an action potential depends on the cell type. Different cell types generate different action potentials, depending on the types of ion channels in their cell membranes. For example, cardiac action potentials differ considerably from action potentials in neurons and skeletal muscle cells regarding their duration or shape. We'll explore the underlying processes in detail. Episode 2 focuses on the neuronal action potential, whereas Episode 3 focuses on the action potential in skeletal muscle cells. We'll wrap things up in Episode 4 with the myocardial action potential. 